I thank the gentleman for yielding. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I come to the floor today as a co-sponsor and a very strong supporter of H.R. 1051, the National STEM Scholarship Database Act. I want to commend my friend Congressman Rush Holt, with whom I serve on the Education and Labor Committee, for introducing this vital piece of legislation. America's global competitiveness will increasingly depend on our ability to attract more of our best and brightest students into technological careers. Sadly, the U.S. is growing reliant on foreign talents to fulfill its science and engineering workforce needs. According to the National Science Foundation, 25% of all college-educated professionals in science and engineering occupations in the United States are foreign-born. The National STEM Scholarship Database addresses this problem by directing the Secretary of Education to establish a database on the department's website with information on financial assistance for post-secondary and graduate programs in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. This important database will help capable students who are interested in STEM careers find scholarships to support their studies. We all know the cost of higher education is very expensive. In fact, two-thirds of undergraduate students are on some form of financial aid. Therefore, identifying funding opportunities is critical to the recruitment of aspiring STEM students. H.R. 1051 is endorsed by all sectors of the technological workforce, and I urge my college to, colleagues to help the U.S. stay globally competitive by voting for this bill. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.